watch TV. I like to make TV. I like to cook. And I don't. I'm Casey. I'm Leanna. And this is, is TV Test, Test Kitchen. Kitchen. So for our inaugural episode and blog post, I took the reins because Leanna does not cook, nor does she watch cooking shows. No. Why are, why are you here then? Um, because you said I had all this free time and <laughs> I ought to learn how to cook or something. We will be helping Leanna learn how to cook. She will be editing the videos. I'll be doing the blog posts and most of the cooking will both be doing the eating. So for the inaugural post, I have chosen my number one girl, Ina Garten, the Barefoot Contessa. Uh, most recently, she had an episode on Food Network where the cast of Mary Poppins Returns was on. They made a delicious Sunday lunch. So from that episode, we are going to make the roasted capon, but we'll get to that later. And also Emily Blunt's roasted potatoes. So if you enjoy chicken and potatoes, this one's for you. And since it's the new year, if you're cutting out all kinds of things, this is just chicken and potatoes. So how bad can that be? It's an Ina-ism. So if you're a fan, you would get that. <laughs> Don't worry, we're using all the good ingredients. So, Leanna, what we've already done, by the magic of TV, I've right. always wanted to say that. <laughs> um, right now, we have the potatoes parboiling back here. Um, the recipe on the Food Network, which we'll link in the blog mm -hmm. and in the comments to the video, um, it says to dice them one and a half to two inches, but you saw... That's not what it looked like in the video. What did I it... mean, I, I mean, not that I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Because I don't. Uh -huh. But I felt like it was kind of, it kind of still looked like a potato when it came out. They not were like, super chunky. Yeah, I feel like when I see roast potatoes, they're usually like you're saying, like diced, but that's yeah. not what they showed in the, and we're, we're going to stay true to the TV show. Right. So. so we cut the potatoes in a fashion that looked like how Emily cut them on TV. Um, we also sliced onions two yellow onions and they are in our pan and then this is a roasting chicken because um for those of you who do not know a capon is a castrated cockerel or a rooster right so like when she actually told me we we're going to do this as our first episode i'm like um you mean roasted chicken and you were telling me no it's supposed to be a capon right mm -hmm. is that right a capon yeah yes. but, um i mean i don't understand the difference honestly I understand there is a difference now. It's yes. something to do with like how tender it is because it like doesn't get as much exercise. As right, and it's something. supposed to be like a bigger chicken, right. a fattier chicken. Yeah, but we couldn't find one. We could not find one. But honestly, Ina said it's okay to just use... I mean, it's the barefoot contestant. So just use okay. a chick. I mean, how often can you get a capon unless you're super fancy and you live in the Hamptons? Right, and the whole point is this is supposed to be easy or at least you know, be something that the average everyday person's supposed to be right. right? So if you can't easily find a capon, I feel like the chicken is The chicken work. is good. So we have our chicken in the pan with the onions around it and not underneath because Ina said that the onions underneath the bird would steam. Mm. They would not caramelize like we want them to. So we and have- we had to put like the wings in a certain way or something? We did. I, because you're a little bit squeamish, I tucked the wings behind the <laughs> bird. Because like <laughs> you want the chicken to be as, you know, like a tight little package so it all roasts evenly. Yeah. But before we can get it in the oven, Leanna is going to do some things to the, to the chicken. So you're going to put two lemons that are quartered. You're gonna she did the cutting for me because she I didn't did, trust me. I did the bed. cutting. Right. So you're so gonna. I was just gonna just put them in the bird. Oh, inside. In, in the bird. <sighs> Come on now. Well, just jam them in. Oh, gross. Okay. Now well, it says two lemons, many? but I really think that's enough. I mean, that's. that's I like think we're good. One. Maybe. Yeah, and now you have to take like, I'll do it half of this time. Right. Because we have lots of time here. Yeah, huh. and then just stick that inside. Yeah, inside. Okay. Put stems just in. All the way in. All right. Yeah. Hold on. I got it. Gross. Gross, Get yeah. All right, All right, the time is in. And now the legs are nice and tight. Would it, like you're just gonna brush the brush? I mean, the fact she's got a brush for her butter. Well, I mean. She's already is... ahead of me by like a lot. So I'm gonna go right on it. And then I'm gonna drain the potatoes. Okay. I mean, I'm just, I'm just doing all of it. I'm just gonna keep going around and more butter. 
Yes. I don't know when to stop now. Did you do the legs? I did do the legs, but we'll, we'll extra coat them because it can't hurt. Yeah, and then with the excess butter, you're gonna pour it around Oops, the pan sorry. on the onions. Get these onions. Okay. <laughs> I All right. Think, I think that was most add, of the add drizzling to the list of skills you need to develop. Okay. Much to Leanna's chagrin, I'm going to liberally salt. salt. I know. It Through looks like osmosis. A funnel cake for the it chicken. looks like a funnel cake. <laughs> the amount of salt that's on top of it. <laughs> All right. Now the bird goes in. All right. Put it in there. Which one? The top or the bottom? The middle. The, the bottom. bottom. The bottom. Is there a rack. reason why you put it at the bottom? Um, because we're gonna put oil with the potatoes in the top. Okay. And we want this closer to the heat source. Shove it in there. He's in. Or she's in. She's in. The chicken. So now, Emily's roasted potatoes. They're not even close to being roasted yet. Right, Hold. Right now? Right here. Okay. Hold. Holding. Hold it over the island. Over the island. And you're gonna shake. And shake the potatoes up, to, up, up oh, and down. Oh no! Like this? Well, well, that'll work, but like this. Like this. Yeah, shake them. Wow, I'm glad you're doing that and not me. <laughs> All right, stop. Stop. This is what Emily did. Okay. I feel like she was a lot more graceful about it. Well, maybe she's Emily Blunt. Blunt. All right, fair enough. So the shaking of the potato gives it these irregular exterior that's gonna get nice and crunchy. And what they say on the show is that it'll taste like a mashed potato inside. Which is good. So creamy on the inside and um, crunchy, crispity on the outside. So by putting them on this tray and allowing them to cool, it gets even more, more, more moisture out of them. And when you have less moisture, you'll have more browning. So that's what we're going for. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that's what they should look like. They're just sitting there. They're gonna rest for five up. to 10 minutes. Okay. The capon is out of the oven. And as you know, we used a roaster chicken. Um, the onions have really cooked down. We're just waiting a little bit on the potatoes. And uh, that's it. Do you think the potatoes were coming out the way that they're supposed to, or you think- I do. The recipe online is for what it's like to cut it in a one and a half, two inch dice. Mm -hmm. But we did it like we saw on TV. So they just needed a little bit more time to get um, that crunchy exterior. Pretty good. Do you see that? Golden brown. All right, it's out of focus. Get focus. There we go. Very nice. Mm. Now, for quality control purposes, I broke off a little piece of one that was breaking anyway and sprinkled it with salt, which you're supposed to do when they come out. And I have to tell you, we made three pounds of potatoes. Yes, this is three pounds of potatoes. That's what I look like. But I wish we made nine pounds of potatoes because these are amazing. Next well, I time guess I make potatoes, you, this is what I'm doing. If you're only going to be doing this for a couple of people, then it's fine. Yeah, like us right now. Right. Bone, like so, and then down to remove the breast. It is still screaming hot. We but let it set. It's nicely cooked all the way through. Yeah, it is. We Can't let say it, I've really done that ever with the chicken. So it's, <laughs> so it's easy. We let it um, <clears throat> We let it rest for quite some time, but it's still very and hot. And how, how many pounds is this chicken? This was actually six and a half. It was less than what the recipe calls for, but we're also, we don't have any guests. So I thought, why not? I'm actually gonna just, I really wanna put it back in there with the juices so that when we serve it, it's like a pan gravy. Make sure that you read the accompanying blog post where I will write in detail a review of the experience, the episode, um, I'll put how much the groceries cost on there as well. So you can kind of do a price breakdown per meal or per grocery trip. And um, make sure that you bookmark tvtestkitchen.com. You follow us on social media at tvtestkitchen and like and subscribe, just follow along. We're gonna have a lot of fun doing this. It's our, our first go at it. So we hope it was uh, mildly entertaining and you might come back for, we're gonna do oatmeal next time, right? We're gonna do oatmeal next time, yes, for a healthy new year pseudo treat. I like it. New year, new you, new oatmeal. New oatmeal. All right, farewell. Bye.